Bum, 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 and another bum, bum, bum. Welcome back, my friends. This is BJJ Brick Quick. My name is Byron. This is your Quick Jiu-Jitsu Podcast. Today we're talking about the Jiu-Jitsu Chain. I don't know why I always enjoy like taking an object and <laughs> trying to relate it to Jiu-Jitsu. We did uh, the Jiu-Jitsu Tree a little while ago. The jujitsu chain, and they always say the chain isn't the chain is only as strong as its weakest link. I think nowadays we we make chains that are pretty uniform. <laughs> you can picture the day of a blacksmith making a chain, and maybe the chain links aren't all the same strength. Maybe maybe one of the the welds. I don't even know if that's a technical term that you would use as a blacksmith. <laughs> Maybe one of the connections isn't as strong. Maybe the the metal is a little thin in one of the spots. So when you hook up the chain to pull something or you go to use it, it's going to break right there. Your jiu-jitsu chain. <laughs> it's only as strong as the weakest link most of the time. You could have a fairly weak mount defense. But if the if the link that protects your guard from getting past is really good, your your mount defense will be okay. You could have a you know pretty subpar defense with, with footlocks. And if you're in a division where they don't play many footlock attacks. You might be all right. Your takedowns might not be that good. That'd be a weak link. If you want to go compete and everybody pulls guard, that weak link was not exposed. I think that's why some people like to compete to find, not necessarily that victory, but to figure out What's up with our game? When you're across from an opponent who knows nothing about you, what's going to happen? How's your game going to match up? You also know nothing about them most of the time. Is there some weak links in your jujitsu chain? Undoubtedly, we could all get better at basically all parts of jujitsu. But if you're a purple belt and you're your guard passing is like maybe a good white belt guard passing. That's a pretty weak, weak link compared to, you know, like one of the more subcategories. So you could do this the hard way, I guess, <laughs> at a tournament and figure out, I have no back escape. <laughs> uh, that was horrible. Or... You could you could try to work on this in class and while you're rolling. I know one of my weaker links is defending a Kimura. And that might be a bit of a stretch to say it's a weaker link. I tap to Kimuras very quickly. Like I don't uh I don't really risk much. So but I, I defend the Kimuras well ahead of time. It's not like I'm getting tapped constantly by Kimuras. So I start to get my my Kimura radar is up quite a bit. Maybe we'll do radar <laughs> instead of a chain next time. My Kimura radar is up pretty high because I know if if they get both their hands locked up with my arm, I'm in a lot of trouble. And I know know that I'm just not going to fight it that that long. And I know that a lot of people I train with fight these much longer, and they're they're fine with that. It just isn't for me. I think of the Kimura as a little bit more of a dangerous technique. So I tap early. And that kind of has a compounding effect is because I've, you know, after a Kimura gets to a certain, you know, like 70% finished, it basically a lot of times is 100% finished on me because that's when I tap. But training partners who take it to 80, 85, 90, 95% before they tap, you got to think they're getting better escapes to their chain. 
So if you could evaluate your game, what's your weakest link? It kind of doesn't work the same with the strong link because your strong link could finish a match pretty much immediately. You know, if you've got a razor sharp guillotine choke and somebody shoots in on you and, and you have a good sprawl, boom. That that strong chain link finished it. <laughs> but when it comes to defense, you could think of that as more of the chain and you you could be as only as strong as your weakest link i, I think of it a chain in reality is very telling if if you're using a chain and it's, it's 100 feet long using all 100 feet if there's a weak link it's going to get found jujitsu maybe you you've you know used only using 50 feet of that chain and so you might have a weak link that never gets exposed or that doesn't get exposed this time i hope you have a great day Stay sweaty, my friends.